welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing my wax empties. Um, first I have here some just kind of accessory type stuff. I have a lighter which is gone and I'm going to put be putting um, these in a bag over here. And then I have um, two um, cotton ball packages from my waxes which I will be talking to you about later. Um, to start off with, I'm trying to remember what I did first. I think I did use this candle first. Um, this is um, a Woodwick cap candle that I got from the dollar store. And um, it was just in vanilla sugar. I like the scent of it. But I really do not like the way it sounds, so I will not be repurchasing this. Next, um, I guess I'll just stick with the dollar store um, theme. I had this little tiny candle here um, in lemon meringue. Um, I really liked it. It was a really good candle. And yes, I would repurchase that one. Um... Next, I have another Dollar Tree. I can't remember if I got this. Yeah, this is from the Dollar Tree. Um, Sunset Beach. Um, it was very, very light. So for that sense, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. But um, it has a little bit of sitting, as you can tell, but not much. So it was a pretty good candle besides the fact that it didn't really have a scent throw. Um, next, I'm going to talk about these three candles that I got not as a set but kind of I both I got all three of them from Dollar General and um I liked all of them this one is in the scent um vanilla sugar citrus zest and island oasis I remember this blue one right here being really good with a lot of smell this one was pretty good, had a good throw. And this one, mm, I could smell it, but I mean, it's a vanil another vanilla. This one, as you can see, um, has a lot of wax residue on the sides. This one, it has a little bit, but it not very, not enough to affect it. But then this candle here stood it a bunch, and I kept the wicks trimmed. So I don't know why it stood it so much, but... I would purchase these two again, but I would not purchase that one again. Um, my last dollar... No, this isn't my last one. Alright, so I have a story to tell about this one. The candle itself, this pear candle, I really enjoyed. It had a really good scent to it. And it was really nice. So, I work at... Um, well, I don't work. For one of my high school classes, I go to our elementary school called Woodson, and I um, volunteer as, like, a teacher's aide. And um, we went to this, on a field trip, to this um, Pioneer's Day thing, and my job to help was to make candles. I don't know if you can see that. But inside there is a candle that I had made. And I just put it in here because I wanted to burn it and see if we had actually burn the candles that we had made. So that's what's inside of there. But the candle itself that I bought from the Dollar Tree is really good. And I love it. Um, my last Dollar Tree candle was this cupcake one. Um, I would not buy these again. I actually got this from my parents as a gift because my cat died and they kind of made a little gift basket thing for me, which is really sweet. And I really like this candle. Um, it was cute as a wax, but I wouldn't, it wasn't very realistic for a candle. It, I mean, as you can see, it made this whole like tunnel thing here. Um, and it just, I don't know, it didn't burn very good at all. There was no scent to it or anything. So, yeah. And then, last kind of Dollar Tree thing is I tried this. Uh, I tried the liquid under a little tea light thing. And I do not recommend it at all. Um, it smelled extremely fake. I don't know. There was just something wrong about it. Something that doesn't smell right. 
so I would not recommend that at all. Um, here's the next candle. I'm kind of moving up by size here. Um, Island Mingo. I got this at Target, and I absolutely love this candle. It smells so good. Yes, it smells so good. Um, it has a tiny bit of a sitting there, but besides that, there's not really any much wax on it, really. I mean, there is a little bit towards the end there. But it was a really good candle overall. And I would definitely repurchase that one. Um, next, I'm going to talk about this uh, vanilla candle. I can't remember where I got this candle. Which is okay, because I would not repurchase it. Because look at this sitting. This sitting is bad. It's sitted basically the entire candle. If you can see it. That's the candle. And what's down here is then all wax. So, it was pretty much a crappy candle. It smelled really good for vanilla. Vanilla scents are hard because you tend to not get a lot of scent throw from them. But this one, I got quite a bit of a scent throw from, which is really surprising. So, that one I would probably repurchase again if I found it. Because I don't remember where. But just for the fact of the vanilla scent, not for the fact of the sitting and stuff. Next, I have this Walmart candle, Mainstays, uh, cotton candy. Everybody obsessed over it, so I had to buy one. Cotton candy I found was really light, but no soot, very little wax, good candle. I probably would repurchase it. It was just very light for me. So this one, I can't remember where I got this one either. I want to say Target, but I'm not sure if this is a Target brand or not. But this one, it was in... Um, another vanilla scent and it was really good it was very strong and I don't know if this was from the heat or what I don't know if you can see this here let me see if I can get to focus but there is a crack there I don't know how this happened I don't know if it was from heat or if it was from maybe when it was in a bag or what but I don't know and as you can see there's a little bit of wax on there it's not too bad but overall it was a good candle and if I could find it, I would buy it again. Alright, so this one. Some of you guys, I don't know if you guys are religious or not about these. Um, a friend of mine bought one for me. And I went ahead and I just used it as like a candle. Okay, just like a regular candle, not... Um, I didn't like, oops. I didn't like pray on it or, or anything like that. I just used it as a normal candle. I don't know if this is a religious thing or what, but because I didn't, I don't know. My friend's super religious and I don't know. I didn't even ask her about this, but, um, it only burned to here out of this entire candle. I didn't even get halfway through the candle. So I don't know. I tried it. It didn't work. So I'm just not going to buy any more. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. Alright, so this is a Bath and Body Works candle and Champagne Toast. I absolutely fell in love with this candle. This candle is literally the world's best candle. It smells amazing. It had a really strong throw. As you can see, there's very little, little, little sitting. And very little sitting. Mostly, like, right around here, there's a little bit. Right, right around here, there's a little bit. Hardly any wax around it. But, and it just smells so good. Here, I'll, sell and I'll read you the scent notes. Glittering champagne, wild berries, and tangerine zest. Which I think is very on... I don't smell the champagne, though. But I do smell... It's kind of like a... I smell the fruitiness. The tangerine zest. I definitely smell that. But I feel like it has more of like a sweet note from it. And I don't know what it is. It smells... I don't want to say like syrup. But it's definitely a sweet type of note like that, like a sugary note. So, I don't know. Um, so, that's my candle empties. And then here are my wax empties. Again, I'm just going to start off from the smallest one here. Um, this vanilla one from the Dollar Tree. I like these. I call these blenders. I just use them to blend with other scents to make a scent stronger or just to have more wax in there to last longer. 
if I'm going to be gone longer or something like that, then I'll put that in there. And then same with these. That one I got from the dollar store. I have two of these mainstays ones that I get from Walmart. Same thing. So there's two of those empty. Then from Sensationals, I have a Sunflower Fields. Um, I really like this one. I, um, I would definitely say if you're not a sunflower person, I wouldn't, or a floral person, don't get it. It's a very strong floral scent. Oh, I love it. It's so sweet. So sweet. I'm not a, usually a fan of floral scents, but that one I really fell in love with. Next here I have um, from Sensationals again. I have uh, Mango Luau. I love this one. It's a very fruity, tropical scent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very strong of mango. And a little bit of a pineapple-y type scent as well. I really like that one. Um, this one is from Better Homes and Gardens. This is Exotic Paradise Punch. Um, a very similar type scent. This one is a little bit more sweeter. That one's more of just fruit. Where this one has a little bit more of a, um, like a sweet drink type of note or something like that. Um, yeah, definitely more of a punch type scent rather than just fruit. Um, next here, as you can tell, I've been very into spring tropical type scents. Um, Taste of the Tropics scent by Sensationals. Um, this one is grilled pineapple and this one is island melon melon coconut and I just burned them together I did not burn them separately so I just kind of smell them together and together it's just a fruity coconut scent so kind of a mix between that one and that one kind of similar type they're all a similar family and then this one is um by Burt's Bees and this is raspberry lemon um it's very strong of just raspberry and lemon. It's very true to what it says. The only thing is um, this wax is very, very soft and very messy compared to these are, you know, you can just break them in half and they're very hard where that one is very soft and was very mess messy. So I'm not sure if I would repurchase this one again because of that, but all of the other ones I would repurchase again. And this one I already have another one of. So that is my empties for May, and I hope to see you in my next video, and please subscribe. Bye!